Welcome to Everyday Linux User. Today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable Ubuntu USB drive and how to install Ubuntu. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open um, a web browser and go to ubuntu.com forward slash download. Now we want to download the Ubuntu desktop so click the download Ubuntu desktop icon and then you want to download the latest long term support release so in this case 2404. Whilst that's downloading, we need the software to install uh, Ubuntu, so we're going to type etcher.io and we're going to click on the download icon. And then you're going to click the download for the Windows installer and that will install as you can see in the top right corner. And when that's finished, you can close your web browser. Open a file explorer and navigate to the downloads folder. Click on the Blina Etcher setup click I agree and it will install and an icon will appear on the left hand side and set a USB drive make sure there's nothing on it that you want to keep because it will be wiped as part of this process uh, the software should start automatically but if it doesn't you can click on the icon click flash from file choose the Ubuntu that you downloaded earlier click on select target and choose the USB drive that you want to install Ubuntu onto and then click flash. When the warning appears uh, uh, select yes to accept the warning and it will take about 15 minutes to create the USB drive. Once that's finished reboot your computer and press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. This differs from manufacturer to manufacturer. Scroll down to your USB drive ignore this little error at the bottom and then click try or install Ubuntu when the message appears. Ubuntu will now start to load and you can choose your installation language in this case English for me. There's some accessibility settings and you can choose your keyboard layout. I connect to the internet either wired or Wi-Fi and then choose to either try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. In this case I'm going to install and I'm going to go for the interactive installation and the extended selection gives you more tools once it's installed. You want to install the third party software and their media codecs because this will enable you to watch uh, proprietary video and listen to proprietary audio. Select Erase Disk and install Ubuntu. Note that this will wipe your drive so make sure you want to do this and select the drive that you want to install Ubuntu onto. Uh, create an account so enter your name, give your computer a name. Enter a username and then enter a password and repeat that password. You can also choose whether you want to log it in automatically or not. I recommend using the default settings for this. You can now choose where you are in the world, this sets your time zone and then you can review your choices and install Ubuntu by clicking install. Ubuntu will take about 15 minutes to install and then you'll see this message and you can click restart now. When you reboot your computer you can take the USB drive out and Ubuntu should boot to the login screen. Uh, choose your username and enter your password. At the welcome screen click next. You can choose to sign up for Ubuntu Pro. I'm not going to do that for this but it does give you extra support. Uh, you choose whether to want to help improve Ubuntu and then you are done and, and we are at the Ubuntu screen. That's the end of the video. As you can see, I've set my Ubuntu up in a different way. And if you want to follow along with the next few episodes, you will see how to set up Ubuntu to make it work well for you. And that's the end of the video. If you liked it, give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.